If you want to make a checkbox behave like a radio button, then keep watching because I'm going to show you how. In this application, what we're going to do is create a simple app where the user has to choose between one thing or the other. Let's start off with our design. We're going to set align horizontal to center. That allows us to put these two checkboxes right in the middle of the screen so that they're easy to click on. First thing I'm going to do is change the text properties here to our two choices, our two decisions. Let's say I prefer Android for the first one and something silly, something um, like I prefer iPhone then for the second one. So it, the whole idea here is that it's a preference. You would prefer one thing over the other, but you can't choose both. If we use the live testing app, let's take a quick look at it here and um, we'll see the default behavior for our checkbox is that both things are actually selectable like that. Another thing I notice is the text is a little bit small as well. So the nice thing about live testing is we can go back in here. Let's resize the font. Let's uh, make them both 20 pixels, let's say. And now we've got to add in some blocks to take care of that kind of default checkbox behavior. So let's figure out what are we going to do when checkbox one is changed? Well, we need to, we need to check is checkbox two also checked. Uh, so if they're both checked, then um, what we want to do is uncheck checkbox two. I know that sounds like a lot of checking, but essentially what we're going to do is use a logic block like this, the logic and, and what it does is it sees, it checks if both of these things or both of these tests are true. In other words, are both of the checkboxes checked? If they are, then we'll uncheck checkbox two, like that. Uh, once we've got the first one made out, all we have to do is change those uh, names there, change checkbox two dot changed and checkbox one dot checked that. Now let's uh, have a look at this a little bit closer. If you want to pause the video here, this is all the code you need and this is how it works and this is what it looks like on our phone. So one thing or the other but not both. Okay great so you've made it to the end of the video. Now you know how to create radio buttons out of checkboxes. Like the video if you liked it, comment if you've got any questions and subscribe if you want to see more.